Hello friends, welcome you all to your channel I Care Advisor. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding the career and scope in optometry. So the topics what you are going to cover in these courses are, first of all, we will know what is optometry and who are the optometrists, what is the eligibility criteria, what is the course duration, what are the subjects we have to study in this course? What are the higher education perspectives are there? What are the career opportunities where we can take admission? Either I am from West Bengal, so I will tell about the West Bengal, Kolkata and the other locations also. I will all over the India, most of the renowned organizations I will tell. And what, what are the work domains? Means what are the work we are doing? So we will discuss all in this chapter of this topic. Before that, I will just give a small intro of myself, myself Shine Mukherjee, optometrist by profession. I am having a total experience of more than 12 years, out of which for the last six and a half years, I was working in Dubai, Abu Dhabi. So now let's start our topic. What is optometry? So basically, as per the World Council of Optometry, optometry is a healthcare profession that is autonomous, educated and regulated. And so who are the optometrists? Optometrists are basically the primary healthcare practitioners of the eye and the visual system who provides a comprehensive eye and vision care, which includes refraction, contact lenses, evaluation, detection of the and diagnosis of some of the diseases, dispensing part, other specialty clinics also there. We are taking care of this. So before I go to the next slide, I want to tell one more thing. As per the WHO, World Health of Organization, that all over the world, there are around 285 million persons who are having some sort of visual disorders or vision losses. And out of that, 43% covers around 123 million is from the refractive errors where the optometrist can play a major part by giving them the proper spectacle prescription or the contact lenses prescription to help them to see more clear. So about the Bachelor of Optometry, it is a four year degree course out of which three years, first three years you have to study. And the fourth year is the internship, what you have to take in from the hospitals or from the clinics to have some clinical knowledges. Next, who are interested to study the optometry? So what is the eligibility criteria? For this, you have to be 12 pass out with the science background. So either you should have physics, chemistry, maths or physics, chemistry, biology. Every university has some cutout marks and they also take their admission tests, individual entrance examinations. They take the universities and accordingly, you can take the admission in the optometry. So when you enter and take the admission in the optometry, what are the subjects generally you study in this course? First, you will study about the general and ocular anatomy. Then you will study about the general and ocular physiology. Then the study, then you will study optics. The other subjects which includes are biochemistry, pharmacology is also there, general and the ocular. After that, you will come to the main optometry course subjects, which is the clinical refraction, contact lenses, low vision aids are there, ocular disease you will learn, binocular vision, orthoptics, how to dispense the glasses, what are the specialty of the glasses dispensing optics. These are the basic subjects which are being covered in this three years course of study. After you have done the three year study, you will be having a one year internship in any of the clinics. So when you go in the clinics, they will be posting, they will give you posting in different departments. First of all, they will give you in the general departments to see how to take the history of the patient when a person comes with any eye difficulties or problems. So how you can take care of that history, what are the problems, how to take note of that, all those things you will learn, then you will learn the main thing, which is the refraction, how to give the eye press, find out the eye prescriptions. Then they will give you posting in the contact lens departments, diagnostic, diagnostic means, for example, if anyone is having cataract surgery or LASIK evaluation is done, we have to dump some preliminary eye examinations. 
So this can be also done by the optometrist and there are some specialty clinics, for example, orthoptics, sports vision, low vision aids, all they are giving the training in this clinical internship on the fourth year. And after you complete the optometry, there are two options. You can direct, directly go for the jobs or you can go for the higher education. So for the higher education, what are the opportunities? First of all, you can do a clinical fellowship to gain, to gain more knowledge regarding the clinical things. You can go for a six months or one year clinical fellowship you can do. And apart from that, if you want to do the higher studies, you can do master of optometry. And even you, after completing the master of optometry, if you want, you can do the PhD also. If you want to gain more clinical knowledge, you can do some of the specialization courses in contact lenses. For example, the Rose K contact lenses, the specialty contact lenses are there. Apart from that, you can go for the binocular vision, sports vision, low vision aids, pediatric clinics. You can vision therapy. These are the things which you can learn to gain more knowledge. After you complete the B-optometry or after that you complete the master's or the PhD, what are the career prospects? Means what are the job opportunities? You can work in the clinics or in the hospitals, number one. Secondly, you can work in the optical outlets also as an individual optometrist who you will give the prescriptions for the glasses, the contact lenses, all those things. Other than that, you can join in the professional services of many of the multinational companies you can join as the educator, teacher, or trainer in the colleges. You can teach the juniors who will be taking the further admissions. You can teach the students about the optometry profession. You can join the contact lens companies also. There are many contact lens companies who recruit optometrists. You can get jobs in the ophthalmic lens companies also. And apart from that, you can get some international exposure also. But for that, you need minimum two years experience. You can work in abroad jobs, for example, in United Arab Emirates, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah. Other countries are also there in the Gulf where you can easily get jobs. But there are some criteria. I have made a separate video that you can watch in that one. And you can work in the specialty clinics also, for example, low vision, sports vision, orthoptics, binocular visions, etc. These are the job and career opportunities what you can go for. So if you want to take the admission in the West Bengal, most of the colleges is affiliated with the previously it is known as the West Bengal University of Technology, but now it is known as the Macauth University. There are many colleges in Kolkata where they are giving the admissions. If anyone is interested to know more details about these admissions in Kolkata, you can personally contact me also. If I can help, in the, I will give the WhatsApp number in this video link. You can just contact me. If I can, I will give you the contacts of the colleges. You can directly contact them. And if you are interested, you can take admission. Apart from that, all over India, there are many other good institutes also. Some of them are Bharatiya Vidyapit Pune. In the Pune, it is there. In the Delhi, some of the colleges are there. In the Mumbai is there and some other parts of the country also it is there but before taking any admission you should be you should take care that the you college or university is ugc recognized and you should also take uh, your opinion from your personal educational counselor about these optometric courses the full thing in detail you should know and then only you should take the admission so what are the works which are being done by the optometrist? Basically, we are doing as an optometrist, the preliminary job, what is the refraction? Means you will giving the spectacle power for making the eyeglass prescriptions. Apart from that, you can do the optical dispensing part also means in the lens manufacturing companies, you can work, they check out the lenses quality, whether the lens is properly done the optical quality of the lenses these are being checked by them you can work in the contact lens companies you can work in the low vision aid sectors low vision aid means those who are having higher prescriptions with the normal glasses it will not work for them we give like magnifiers type of glasses is there telescopic glasses are there which can be prescribed in the clinics if you are working you will get the exposure to work in the diagnostic workup also for example if you are doing for the cataract surgery before that you can do the biometry workup there are some how to measure we, we, there we measure the eye 
overall the eye, how much is the length of the eye, the curvature of the cornea, many things which have to be taken care of, the, the pressure of the eye, these are being taken care of by the optometrist also in the clinics or in the hospitals. You can do the color vision checkup. And apart from that, those who are having squinted eyes for the other squint evaluation, binocular vision evaluation, vision therapy and ocular prosthetics, these are the segments where the optometrist can work. So this is just an overall guide I am giving you in this video. If you're interested, if you have any queries, you can just ask me in the WhatsApp number I will give in this video. And I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it to the others. The sharing is more important so more persons can have a knowledge and if they are interested they can take the admission and this overall this is a good course many persons are working as an optometrist uh, in india also and after studying in india they are studying abroad also so i hope you like this session as of now for today thank you and bye bye